Hey, what's up, y'all? Crack like this deep. I'll track this video by Happier Exposed. This is David Dobrik forced to move out of his house. Unbelievable. Um, I don't know why he's being forced to move out. You know, I can't imagine him being evicted. You know, he got the money. So, don't know why he's being forced to move out. Maybe something happened. We're about to see. Let's watch. The house for the love of fuck, please. Oh, my God. Weirdos. Oh, I can't stand Guys, it. I want to see here. Weirdos. How did they find out where he lived though? That's kind of your fuck up. percent of people listening like you are literally ruining my chances of living here any longer because natalie's literally about to fucking drag me out of here because people are still showing up to the house and and it's really really fucking scary mm. okay there it sucks it sucks it sucks i don't want to get a different house yeah don't leave notes in the cars don't come see the house don't natalie you add to this okay well <laughs> to be honest it's fucking terrifying when there are strangers that show up to the door and i feel like if anybody put themselves into that situation. Like, take a step back before you walk up our driveway to our front door, even, like, onto our street. They don't know it's just, you. Like, it's creepy, and it's That's stalkery, creepy and how did you find me? Also... He don't like it either. <laughs> he don't like it either. He said it was weird. Oh, oh, y'all get on my nerves. I hate these. I hate these little kids. I hate y'all. <laughs> like, I cannot. St what is. How about y'all don't show up? What? It's, um, he goes, he goes, it's 700 to a thousand dollars. And I go, fucking Christ, a week? And he goes, no, no, that's for a night. Really? For one night, from 9 p.m. to 9 a.m., it'll cost me $700 a day. I'm sure you can get it. I can't afford that. That's, that's, over, that's, over, that's over $200,000 a year. That's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. I can't 
stand these people. I just, I can't. This is so sick. What is wrong with you? I don't want to be a public figure. Like, I don't. I don't want to get super popular to the point where people love me and they, I don't want it. Like, I do not want it. And I hope as a reactor that doesn't happen, to be completely honest. <laughs> I'm not saying I don't want to be successful because I do, but I don't want this type of fame and as a reactor i don't feel like that would even happen anyway even if i grew to several million subscribers i don't feel like people are as obsessed with reaction channel you know public figures as they are with you know people who vlog and do other shit. so honestly i feel like i'm a bit more protected but I would not respond well at all. Like, I want, I'm i going to want to fight you if you show up at my house. Like, you here, like, what's up? I'm, I'm about to start throwing hands. I'm getting protection. I'm getting a gun. And if you're on my property, I have every right to shoot you because you are, you're on my property. You're trespassing. And I don't know who you are. I'm afraid for my life. You getting shot. You getting popped. Period. What are you doing here, you weirdo? I don't know you. I don't know you. These people don't know y'all. They are influencers. You watch them all the time. They don't know you from a can of paint. So you can't show up to their fucking house. This is where they sleep. I can't stand people. I can't stand them and all them little girls. First off, it was nighttime. What the fuck are y'all doing out at night? Go home. I know you got school in the morning. Even if you on vacation, go the fuck home. Why are you out at night? Where are your parents? This is really annoying and I cannot stand people. Like this really irritates me and this ain't my goddamn house. But that I don't know what makes people think it's okay to do shit like this. Like what is wrong with y'all? And now he gotta move to, Oh well, if Natalie wants to move then she could just move out. How about you mind your fucking business? Clearly he cares enough about her to where it's like, okay, she feels unsafe, then we gotta go. So that is important to him. So mind your fucking business telling her she can move out. How about you mind your business and don't show up at niggas' house like a fucking weirdo? Because they don't know you. It's your weird ass. Like, go somewhere. Like, this is so sad. This makes me really irritated because these are people and a lot of them are treated like they're not human beings. Like, you would not want nobody doing this to you. So why are you doing this to them? That's fucked up. Like, what's wrong with y'all? That's, that's scary as shit. That's scary to have strangers pop up at your house looking through your fucking window. Hey, they don't know you. Like, that is so strange. I feel for him. I feel bad for David and Natalie. And if she lives there with him, then that's why she called in her house, clearly, because she lives there. But Because I was thinking, oh, this is his assistant. I was thinking maybe she's only there sometimes, but no, clearly, like, she lives there with him. So it's like, yeah, of course the girl is scared, and he wants her to feel safe. So, of course, he she means a lot to him, apparently, and he wants to move out because, yeah, she doesn't feel good living there with y'all fucking weirdos coming to the house. Man, niggas is weird. This is crazy. Let me know what y'all thought, though. Let me know what other videos you want me to react to, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!